Hi, good afternoon. You join me in the garage once more. Um, we're looking at my 18-year-old Waco uh, lathe, uh, WMT 300-2. It's got a milling attachment, which I haven't specially used. I think I've used this once. Everything else gets a good use on there. Um, what it's lacking is a taco. Uh, so I know many revs is doing, a tachometer, rev counter. Um, now I fitted one on a pillar drill, um, which you may have seen on an earlier video. Um, but I'd like to fit one on here. That was always been the plan, so that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I don't want to fit a separate metal box really for it, uh, for the for the readout. I plan on cutting the hole in here um, for the display to go. Uh, I think that's going to be out the way. I can keep it clean uh, from the inside. I'll show you this in a moment. There's a little bit of a gearbox going on here. Um, but yeah, that seems a favourite place, so we'll go a little bit closer and we'll have a look. This is where I'm thinking of putting the display. There's a display, we could cut a hole and sink that into it. I think it's going to look at, like a factory fit as opposed to an add-on, so I think that'll be quite good. Um, yes, I do have to cut a hole in the lathe, but I don't think that's going to be a negative for it. Uh, in here, you've got the speed change mechanism. Uh, but just behind here, there is a gap. So um, I should be able to fit this in, fit a power supply below. We'll, we'll go around the corner now and have a little look, see what access I have got. This is inside the lathe. This is where you can change the speeds. Simply move a belt about um, on different gears and that, that'll actually alter the spindle speed. Um, but here is where there's quite a gap um, where I should be able to fit the taco in behind so um, should be good there's a big enough box there that's the on off switch and reverse switch mechanism for the lathe itself now because there's power in there i should be able to pick up a supply for a 12 volt power supply to power the display it is 8 volts to 24 volts the lathe's 240 volts ac so i can't feed straight off that i need to drop the voltage down so i think if i cannibalize um, a plug top type power supply I should be able to fully enclose that to keep it dry and oil free and install that in this box. Uh, so it's going to keep the whole um, upgrade, if you like, uh, fairly neat and tidy. Uh, I do have to put a speed sensor on here. It, it's an inductive sensor um, on this spindle because that's a direct feed to the lathe, to the lathe spindle. <clears throat> so I'll have to make a little bracket uh, on that to hold a magnet and the proximity sensor I suspect I'm going to put sort of in this position here. Um, we'll have to play that by ear because I do need to be able to get on to change these belts, um, I to, to replace them and also to move them about for the lathe speed. So we'll, we'll have a little look at um, what I'm faced with, what I've got to put into the lathe um, and where exactly it's going to fit. But um, what I've explained to you before, I think is pretty much um, how it's going to go power supply in here. Um, back of the taco or the, the, the display will be here and a proximity sensor probably coming off uh, the back. I may be able to get it um, to fix to the plastic box which uh, holds all the electrics so that would probably be quite a good move if I could. Um, but yeah, right, we'll go over to the bench, get a power supply uh, gutted because as, as I'm using a plug top one so I'm going to strip that out and um, see what's inside the plug top and hopefully we can use it this is a plug top power supply i'm going to use it's 22 volt output now the taco will go up to 24 so that'll be fine i'm using this one because i can't see i'm ever going to want to power anything up on 22 volts it came with something else i'm no longer using so what i want to try to do is dremel that open and get the guts out of it uh so it looks as if it's going to lend itself down there yeah, so let's get in the vice and we'll uh, have a little, little, little tweak with the Dremel. Right, here we go with the Dremel. Now, I don't want to go too far in, I only really just want to go as the depth of the plastic. 
otherwise I'm going to hit the PCB in the side and ask good night power supply so let's do the other side Okie dokie, I think we're all the way through now. Let me uh, put that back in the vise and we'll get a screwdriver just to uh, see if I can encourage this opening. Screwdriver in hand, let's see if uh, we can open it. It does seem to be opening quite well, so just go gently with it. Yeah, I can see the PCB. Hopefully I can just slide that out. Let's say bonded it in, but I don't think so. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. So, a uh, little bit of modification, a bit of wrapping in uh, the old heat shrink. I reckon we can use that and pop that inside the machine, inside the lathe. So, yeah, let's go over to the lathe, open that up, and uh, see if there's space for it. Right, I've had a look inside here. There's no room whatsoever to mount the power supply. So what I'm going to do is I've come up with another plastic box. The power supply will sit snugly in the bottom there. Um, the display will fit in the box, but from the outside of the lathe. So you'll have this effect, a bit like a little sandwich going on. Um, but this will function as a protection for the... Uh, keep the oil off the power supply and this display. I was a bit concerned about getting this covered with oil that was spraying from the wheel as it was going round. You don't get a lot of oil, but over over a period of time that would build up. So what I'm going to do now is cut a hole in the front of the lathe, like I showed you to start with, mount this display, then align the holes and uh, screw this plastic box from the outside so it's secured on the inside of the gear change uh, assembly. So um, what we'll do, we'll move around to the front. I'll mark up the front to cut for the, cut out for this display. Um, and away we go. I'm going to use the same one. I'll, I'll use a similar principle to how I did the taco drill, except this time instead of the Dremel being mounted in a little pillar drill stand, it's going to be freehand. So uh, I've got a lot to play with there. There's not much of a lip running around the taco or the rev counter. Um, but as long as I'm accurate, hopefully it'll work out okay. So, uh, yeah, join me around the front of the lathe in a moment. I've marked up the front there uh, for the cutout for the display. I'm going to make some holes. That's the cutting disc gong, so we'll fit a new one of them. I'll finish cutting this out. Only uh, one more side and a bit of tidying up, and we'll come back when uh, there's a hole in there and I can show you the display fitted. That's the panel cut out. That was over 1.6 mil thick, so a bit hard going with the Dremel, but it made it. So it's thicker than I thought. Uh, there's the plastic box with the power supply mocked in at the minute. Uh, that'll go around the back of the panel and sit there. It'll be protected from any oil splashes um, because of the box is in the way of, uh, of any such splashes. Um, I may run a, a little bit of gasket or a little bit of mastic around the inside to act as a gasket. May do, may not. Probably not, to be honest, because there's not that much oil spraying around. Um, and this will fit in the front quite nicely. I'll just pop that in so you can see what it's like. Let's just take the connector off then, then it'll go in. Yeah, so to me that looks quite snug and quite nice. You have got four mounting holes there which I preferred not to have put in, but for simplicity they'll just screw into this back box, form an internal enclosure 
to prevent the uh, any oil splashes getting to the components, which will be good. I'll put two holes in the bottom for cable glands. That's going to be mains in to the power supply once the lathe is on. And there's a cable out to the proximity sensor. And that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. Um, we'll make a bracket for the proximity sensor, wire this all together, mount it. And jobs are good and job done. There you go, that's all put together. Just need to hot glue the uh, the power supply in the bottom of the module there, stop it moving around. Displays in. Um, electrically is wired up. The only thing I have to do so uh, yet is to uh, make a bracket for the proximity sensor. But uh, it is all wired and it works. So I'll show you that quickly. So there you go. Um, I'll put the display in the, the back box in. Then we'll go over and make the proximity sensor bracket. Well, that's a completed assembly. This is inside the gearbox. You've got a proximity sensor. There's a magnet, which you can't really see because it's on this ring. Is actually just there. I've arrow dighted that on. Uh, just make sure it stays there. I don't want to disappear. In back of the box, there's got the display in it, and the cabling has been quite, I think, neatly tucked away behind the frame here, so you, you don't even see that. So we'll move around the front. I'll show you the display and uh, confirm it's reading correctly. Right there, you go. That's the finished assembly. Got the display in there. Uh, four bolts. I might colour them or swap them to black just to blend it in a little bit but it, it does look like a factory fit to me uh, so we'll fire it up see what it says it takes a couple of seconds now it's, it's around about well, seven six eight revs a minute the lathe claims it should be 630 at least that's what it says on the label but I've got one of these it's um, rev counter press a button infrared um, sensor there I'm going to put that over to the lathe chuck where I've got a reflective disc and the readout says 768 and that's exactly what we've got on the display there so uh, as far as I'm concerned uh, what we've got on the display is very accurate uh, I'm not so sure about the Chinese label but th this is the one I'll be going on from now on I do have um, a similar taco on my pillar drill. We'll move over to that and we'll check the speed on that just to show you uh, uh, that's accurate. Yeah, this was a previous project um, I'd put a taco on. Uh, again, obviously for the, the speed, so I know what, how fast it's going. So we'll fire that up. I think this is noisier than the lathe. 376. We'll bring the taco in here. Three seven six, bang on. So the uh, the, the tacos from Banggood are fairly accurate. So uh, I'll leave a link in the description for the tacos. Um, and if you find this uh, useful, the video, I'm more than happy to receive a, a thumbs up. That'd be great. And maybe subscribe because there's going to be more videos coming your way. Thanks for watching.